Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Jason Matthew. You can uh, consider this video as a continuation video that uh, we talked about Flex Connect before. So I have uh, two videos posted uh, in Flex Connect mode. But, but when we talk about Flex Connect, we have a lot of uh, operating models, a lot of switching models and all those things. And uh, I got some queries that uh, they want clarification on how this modes works in the background. How, what are the difference between these switching modes or operating models in the background? So I thought of uh, creating a video on um, the operating uh, models of uh, the Flex Connect AP. In this video, we'll uh, talk about what is the main difference between uh, local mode AP and the Flex Connect mode AP. Then uh, we will get into Flex Connect mode, uh, operating models as uh, connected mode and uh, standalone mode. So whatever is possible to cover in this video, we'll cover it. I will not go for a lengthy video. Uh, once we are done with one section, uh, the second section will be continued in the next video. This is the uh, documentation that talks about how the Flex Connect uh, functionality works with Cisco wireless solution. Uh, you, can, you can search for uh, uh, Flex Connect uh, deployment guide uh, then you can get this information and this one covers all the uh, operation models supported platforms and all the information about flex connect solution uh, is covered in this so if you want to refer this one you can uh, always go and uh, refer that let's get into uh, the lab setup that i have um, right now i have uh, 155 uh, 20 so we have the WLC model 5520 here that is running on 8.8 uh, uh, release. Then I also have um, my WLC CLI and I have my uh, switch CLI. Then I have my AP CLI. So this is my uh, Windows PC that connected to my SSID PSK and it's actually able to communicate to one IP. So we'll get into that uh, setup uh, later. So uh, let's see how uh, this WLAN is configured and all those things. So I will go back to my WLC. And as you can see here, I have uh, one AP. Um, so you can see the number of APs here and I have a SSID uh, called as PSK and I have a one client I have one client connected to PSK. Then uh, let me show you the WLAN configuration now. So this is the WLAN. Then uh, I have PSK enabled with WPA2 um, uh, PSK, WPA2 AES. Then I have uh, this, this particular WLAN map to interface management. So this is how the configuration is. Right now, um, uh, there is no other configurations I did other than this uh, the security. So th this is a plain default SSID uh, with only uh, PSK enabled, that's it. Then I have uh, AP. This AP is uh, 3800 and uh, this AP is currently functioning on local mode. By default, all the APs will come in uh, local mode, the uh, AP mode as local. Now we have to convert this one into Flex Connect. Before we convert, uh, we will just see what happens on the uh, WLC side or AP side when we did disconnected the link between the AP and WLC. For doing that, I have my setup with uh, one VLAN. So uh, as you can see here, this particular AP is joined uh, in a uh, VLAN of VLAN 7, and the IP address is uh, uh, 102. So I will show you the same thing here. Uh, the interfaces, I made some changes on this interface. Basically, I added one uh, VLAN 7 interface, and this is the interface actually enabled for dynamic AP management. So I did this one uh, purposefully to make sure uh, make sure we will be able to control this VLAN without losing the controller. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, we have a VLAN. So this is the VLAN for the AP. When I shut down this particular VLAN, you will be able to see that this AP is getting disconnected from the uh, WLC. So for that, I have my switch. Let me go to my switch. So uh, this is my switch. So this is my uh, WLC and right hand side you can see the AP. So what I will uh, do is uh, in this WLC I have uh, some debugs enabled. So as you can see here um, the debugs are enabled uh, for uh, cap app and um, errors and keep alive so or uh, DTLS. So that's why you are seeing some uh, uh, some debugs here. Uh, last time I got a feedback that the zoom level or the phone size is not great so that uh, they are not able to read properly in a video. 
so let me zoom it up a little bit i hope uh, this one should be okay with the hd view hd quality should be able to read this um, i don't want to increase the font size again and um, like will not get the proper printing on the screen so i don't want to do that okay so uh, so this is the uh, debug on uh, w, uh, wlc and this is my ap show cap web client rcb so this is the command to uh, see the ap information so as you can see here this is connected to 5520 and it's currently uh, working in ap group of default group basically the basic configuration of your uh, ap and show flex connect status will give you the status of flex connect i just want to show you that, that this ap is not functioning on flex connect mode right now so i've shown that in the gui uh, this is the way you can find it from the cli side okay so now we are going to disconnect or uh, disconnect the connection between this uh, wlc and uh, ap so as i said men, uh, earlier uh, this particular ap is connected in a vlan uh, 7 so i'm going to that switch then i'm going to uh, disconnect this vlan so i'm going into vlan 7 and i'm going to shutting down so i shut down that vlan and you can see the changes happening on the uh, ap side and uh, the wlc side as you can see here uh, it's actually trying for uh, retrying for connecting back to the wlc and uh, it's gone back to discovery mode because it's not able to find that wlc anymore because your vlan is down basically the communication between ap and wlc is down so when uh, when this ap uh, goes down uh, you can see that uh, this ping is also getting dropped currently this particular client is not connected anywhere as you can see here the connection is not available for uh, the ssid psk and uh, it's actually lost the connectivity and it's not able to ping anymore because your wlc got disconnected uh, and ap is actually uh, not working on anything the AP is on uh, discovery mode now, and uh, it's not able. It's, it will not be serving any clients. So, okay, so uh, this is how the local mode uh, AP uh, behaves in the uh, background. Now uh, let's convert this AP into uh, Flex Connect mode. Uh, then let's see uh, what happens uh, in the same scenario. So for that, I have to get this AP back. So I'm going into VLAN seven again, and I'm going to put no shut down and you can see and you can see after shut, uh, no shutdown is given uh, it will be able to find that wlc again and join back to the wlc once it's joined back to the wlc we will convert this one into flex connect mode now you can see that this particular ap uh, got the discovery response from um, wlc and it's uh, joined to the wlc successfully so this is this is how uh, it uh, works when you disconnect the AP from that. Now let's go and uh, change this AP mode into Flex Connect mode. So changing AP uh, in Flex Connect mode, you can go to the AP. Then uh, I shown this one last time. Um, go to Flex Connect mode, AP mode. Change to Flex Connect mode, and apply. And you can uh, see that uh, this uh, this is applied and you can see what is the uh, difference going to happen here so you can see that uh, it's actually restarting the cap app state machine with that and flex connect switching to standalone mode and all those things you can see so it's actually disconnected from um, wlc and it restarted the cap app uh, state machine and it connected back and uh, you are able to see this ap is functioning with flex connect mode so ap mode is flex connect there is no uh, reboot required now uh, previously in the older ap's uh, older versions we used to have an ap uh, rebooting uh, to connect back to the uh, wlc so this is a 3800 ap wave 2 ap it's is running on uh, cos it's a different os it's not an ios so this ap don't need a uh, reboot for changing the ap mode so this one just got converted into flex connect that's it so now this ap is uh, connected back to the uh, wlc uh, in a flex connect mode let's see what happens uh, when we uh, disconnect this ap okay now let me log in into the ap again
So now you can see uh, this AP uh, is showing the status as uh, AP in connected mode. So last time when we checked this command, uh, you, you are seeing that it's on uh, local mode AP and it's not even part of the flex connect mode. So now we can see uh, this AP is in flex connect mode and it's in connected mode. The connected mode uh, means uh, it's actually connected with the WLC. So don't get confused on this one. It's a straightforward thing. When it says it's connected mode, it's actually able to establish the connectivity between WLC. Now uh, let's see the WLANs. So, so this is the command, uh, show flex connect WLAN to see the WLANs on uh, flex connect, how it works in the background. So uh, as you can see here, uh, you can see the switching uh, here. So we have only one SSID. It can support up to uh, 16, 0 to 15. Total 16 SSIDs are supported. Out of that, uh, only one SSID is enabled. And you can see uh, this authentication is central switching. So we will come to that uh, central switching and local switching in later videos. But uh, just see it uh, and for now. Uh, we are going to talk about this later. Uh, this particular SSID is enabled with central authentication. So you have to uh, read it in this way. Authentication, central then association local then switching central so basically this means psk is going to do central authentication with central switching means everything will go through wlc that's the meaning of this one so you can find how this particular society is uh, behaving on your network with this command or with that ap or that particular location okay now let's uh, disconnect this ap in the same way we did it last time go to uh, w vlan the switch vlan 7 i'm going to shut down i just shut down that vlan and you can see uh, these aps are uh, moving after that so as you can see the retransmission uh, timeout happen it's actually uh, going uh, out of the communication it's actually got disconnected from uh, wlc now you can see here uh, this flex connect switching gone into standalone mode there is a message here and you can also see that uh, this cap app state is also down okay so um, this uh, basically this ap is no more in the uh, wlc side show ap summary may show the ap here but it's actually got disconnected because there is a timeout once this timeout is kicked in it will be removing that uh, ap uh, from the wlc so right now, uh, this AP is shown in the WLC, but it's actually disconnected uh, from the uh, AP side or from the network point of view. But this AP will get removed from a, uh, WLC only after that timeout. Okay. So uh, at the same time, we will see um, what happened to the client. So as you can see here, uh, this client was able to communicate here. Uh, it's able to communicate here, but it got disconnected when we... Um, uh, disconnected the uh, AP from the WLC side. You can see that this SSID is, itself is not getting broadcasted. Okay. It's not getting broadcasted, it's not able to get connected. So nothing is connected because we have this SSID configured as uh, central authentication and central switching. When we have this central switching, central authentication, everything is handled by uh, WLC. So now WLC is not uh, not available anymore. So it got disconnected. Now you can see this AP is disconnected, but let's see what is the status in Flex Connect. Now uh, the status got changed to standalone mode. This is not uh, same as the uh, local mode AP. Basically, this AP is functioning in, uh, in standalone mode. This is the uh, the biggest difference between local mode and the flex connect mode previously this was showing as connected mode uh, previously when we typed this command it was showing as ap in connected mode now after disconnection it got disconnected and it's it moved into uh, standalone mode so this is a this is the biggest difference between local and uh, uh, flex connect mode as i mentioned earlier uh, this uh, video is becoming too lengthy uh, so we will uh, stop it here and we will continue uh, the rest of the things in the next video. Thank you for watching.